Welcome to the Harper Classroom series of instructional videos. I'm Dr. Harper. This Excel tutorial is how to calculate a p-chart. So let's bring in Excel. I've already typed in the data from the experiment where the total observations, capital N, is 51,400. The number of attributes in the experiment, X, is 1080. And the sample size for the chart, small n, is 1285. First, for the proportion, all we do is take the attributes and divide by the total number of observations in the experiment. And there's our parameter from our experiment. The mean is just our parameter. And the equation for the variance from the binomial theorem is p times 1 minus p over n. So that's going to be p times 1 minus p, but it's divided by the sample size for the chart. So for our upper control limit, that's going to equal our mean plus 3 times the square root of the variance, which is our standard deviation. Our center line is just our mean, our parameter. And the lower control limit is our mean minus 3 times the square root of our variance, which is our standard deviation. And so there's the lower control limit, center line, and upper control limit. Now to plot these, assume we have production, where production is from a normal distribution, but the probability is a random as a random number generator. Our mean is given, and then our standard deviation is the square root of the variance. And there's our random number. Now we want to keep the mean the same, so we highlight D8 up here, F4 to freeze it, and highlight D9, F4 to freeze it, and return. And so we know when we copy this down, that's just going to be random numbers from the normal distribution. Now the lower control limit is just going to equal 0.009. The center line is just going to equal 0.021. And the upper control limit, that's going to equal 0 0.033. And we know we want all of these to be the same as we copy them down. So now that we have this set up, we can just copy this down and just have a lot of different production values for the future. I'll just randomly pick a lot of them. And so now what I want to do is plot these to show what the control chart looks like. I'll highlight these, control, shift, down arrow. And now to see what the process control chart looks like, we go to insert. And up here on a line chart, line graph, we, we pick the first stacked lines. And there's what our chart looks like. And so under the p-chart, we can just say p-chart. And we can see here that we have the lower control limit is 0 0.009. The center line is 0 0.021. The upper control limit is 0 0.033. And there's our random component, and that's what we're going to interpret. And we will interpret that in other videos in the Harper Classroom. So that ends the Excel tutorial on how to calculate a p-chart. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.